Hi, and welcome to my flash presentation about Goslin, the grammar of succinct lipid nomenclature. I'm Niels Hoffmann. I'm currently a postdoc in bioinformatics for lipidomics at the Lipidomics Informatics for Life Sciences project at ESAS in Germany, in Dortmund. Today I will talk about lipids and lipidomics and specifically about lipid nomenclature. So what are lipids? Lipids are in principle fatty acids. They are naturally occurring derivatives like ester amides and substances related biosynthetically or functionally to these compounds. This is basically quoted from William Christie who runs a very important blog on lipids. Also Kai Simons, another known person in lipidomics defines Lipidomics as a whole is the emerging scientific discipline of studying the full lipid complement of cells, tissues, and organisms. The lipid species diversity will only be understood by including lipidomics technologies in the ongoing omics revolution. The primary analytical methods that we use for identification and quantification today are basically mass spectrometry techniques with or without chromatography. Um, however, usually they only resolve lipid structure to the species or subspecies level and ambiguity thus needs to be reflected in naming. So lipids usually consist of multiple so-called building blocks, mainly the head group, which is equivalent to the lipid class. For example, here glycerophosphoethanolamine. This here is a different one, but that doesn't matter for this explanation. Then you have the backbone, which basically links the head group to the fatty acid chain, chains, which are basically long carbon carbohydrate chains. Um, you also have different possibilities for linking from the backbone to the fatty acid, either by an ester link or by an ether link, which is the default in most lipids. Then also in the fatty acid chains, you can have multiple double bonds and double bond positions, and these can have different configurations. And all of this can be reflected on multiple levels, depending on the structural knowledge that you gain from mass spectrometry. So what is the problem with parsing and naming and normalization of lipid nomenclature? Goslin, the grammar of succinct, lipid, uh, of succinct lipid nomenclature, tries to define context-free grammars for lipid names that follow the most prevalent um, nomenclatures abounding today. Um, for example, lipid maps with lipids and the Libre shorthand notation. And there are numerous dialects that have evolved in the past and it's quite tedious to get all of these names mapped to the correct lipid for high throughput applications. So for that, we defined context-free grammars that you can see on the right, basically with different rules and terminal symbols. In this case, we define lipids as, um, for example, different categories like glycerolipids, phospholipids, sterolipids, etc. And um, these categories can then split up into multiple classes. And of course, this is just a short excerpt. This also allows us to define left to right, leftmost derivation parsers and define, and also use, uh, we also use this to define common data structures for the lipid level hierarchy. So basically we have as input different names from different lipid dialects. We use our handler-based grammars and our parser implementations in different languages. And in the end, what we get out is a normalized name, a classification of the lipid into the lipid maps category main class, a structural level where the lipid was perceived at, and different structural properties and chemical properties as well. How is that embedded? So Goslin basically has four different language specific implementations in Java, Python, R, and C++. We host them at GitHub. We offer a Bioconda recipe for the Java command line interface and also offer uh, artifacts at JFrog Bintray. All of the implementations share a common data model to make implementation simpler. And a web application is also available that presents a user-friendly interface and REST API for programmatic inclusion in different workflow systems. Finally, some acknowledgements. LIFS is a project that consists of three parts, mainly Research Center Borstel, um, Dresden MPI, and um, LIFS in Dortmund. And I want to thank my colleagues Bing, Dominic, and Robert who supported me and uh, played important roles in developing Goslin and also cross-checking it. Also, we are working together with different groups and other societies and also offer training and workshops at the annual Epidomics Forum. Just check the pages and thank you for your attention.